Hello guys. Um, I will continue uh, to explain because uh, some people likes to confuse uh, other people with their baseless propaganda and <clears throat> I will explain you know what it is you know uh, first of all people says like oh are we gonna be like the like pile wild times or something you know I mean <laughs> a lot of people even today they were saying they were getting excited if what is coming back if what is coming back if what was that terrible first of all why are you excited? And I remember how popular Wild was. If Wild was that bad, you know, so what was it? A lot of people were really getting excited about top eight. And if it was that bad, then why were you paying so much attention? So the thing is, both Wild and Pal top eight was great. Why was the problem? The problem was people appreciated, you know, what Wild and Pile was doing. They get upset with them only when top athletes couldn't pull against each other. That, that was the only reason. So there was nothing wrong with the Pile and Wild. The only problem, nobody was getting angry with them because of Monopoly or something. They were getting angry because they were not able to see the top athletes pulling against each other. And today, it's not the case. It's actually the opposite, as King of the Table and East versus West agreed to work together and secure the unification of the competition. So, again, people loved WL. People loved Top 8. The problem was that athletes couldn't pull against each other. Today is not the case. Just say that today, while is king of the table and pile is east versus west but just think about it that these two organizations let all the top athletes compete here and there so anyone who was complaining in the past today they don't have the same reason it's the opposite way so then after a point i understand that like the the the, the thing is not about how to say it is not about like that it is about something else and today some people just because um i kind of feel they are hurt or something you know they like oh are we gonna go back to wild time pile time you know and then i remember these people competing both pile and wild events if they were that bad, why? Why were they competing in those events? Even when these contractings were present, you know, and the athletes couldn't pull against each other. So, so this kind of hypocrisy, you know, I understand. So, and people says, Engin, if your intention is to secure the unification of the elite athletes, then by this contract you secure this so why can athletes not compete anywhere they want after this security you know uh, they need to understand that to secure this unification there is a huge risk my friend huge risk and anyone who wants to share this risk equally then they are more than welcome to be part of it more than welcome but if they say you risk by investing a ton but we benefit without any risk whenever we like, then I don't think it is fair. I don't think it's fair at all. And if they say they are not big or strong enough to share the risk, then they can still serve the sport with uh, what they are capable of. If they are not able to serve the sport at this level, then there is still, if they love arm wrestling, there is still, because I also wasn't capable of doing something huge. I started from zero. When these people were sitting at home during the pandemic time, I was taking huge risk 
and organize these events. So I understand if they are not at this level, but this is not something that left from my father or something. This is, I did with my, you know, fingernails, you know, by working hard. So, I will just say that there are levels in any subject in this world, any subject, you know. But um, again, you know, what we do right now, just to comfort the fans, that will not change much about what is already going on in the arm wrestling world. So, and I will also want to mention a few more things and then uh, I will be done. There is no high level professional sport in this world that without contracts. And there is no high level organizations or team that would risk their investment by allowing other organizations and teams to benefit from their investment. Like for example, if Barcelona contracts Messi with a big investment, they will not allow him to play for another team time to time, you know, because they invested there. And again, you know, if, if anyone is saying like, you are investing a ton, just tell us, you know, what is this? And if you are equally, if you are gonna share, then let us know, my friend. But if you are not gonna risk anything, you didn't risk anything during the pandemic when there was nothing, everyone stopped. And King of the Table and East versus West took the risk. You just sit down and just watch. Are they gonna be successful or not? Hmm, let's see if it's gonna fail or not. Oh, it didn't fail, fail. Oh, it's successful. Okay, let's get our share now. Yeah, it's okay. You didn't risk that, but how about risking from now to the future? You wanna equal the share? No? But you want to benefit, right? Anyway, so there are, like these are like signs signs that the our support is reaching to the next level there is no serious support on this earth that is professional but no contract anyone who invests the only difference with me i'm not a businessman that that's why athletes love me and that's why athletes support what i do why, why do athletes support me because they know i'm one of them they know I wasn't harm armless. They know I have good intention and they support my vision. That that's why. But because of some slanderings and lies of certain people, I see that some part of the community is being poisoned by these things, you know. But that that's not the fact. That's not the fact. The fact is like every person like um like the works are his mirror, what this person have been doing. I'm not sitting in front of you and telling you delusional, you know, dreams of mine or something, you know. I am actually doing it. I have organized more than hundreds, <clears throat> with the following event, it will be 110 elite level super matches by bringing the East and West together, which was a dream, which was a, which was a scar, bleeding scar of the community. <clears throat> so the only reason that some people are getting disturbed is because they are jealous, because they didn't take risk, they didn't do anything. And then after a point, they just want to take a share, which will eventually cause being divided. So before that happens, we are again taking a big risk and then doing a unification. These athletes, they are, they are not like kindergarten children. These athletes are not dummies or something. These athletes are happy with what's, what's going on. Hermes is happy, Levan is happy. They're all happy, you know, there's, there's no problem. 
they, they are not they are not like when people are talking like you know oh they shouldn't be forced to do what what force what are you talking about what force who's who's force you know how, how can you force someone you offer they negotiate and there's an agreement between adults that's what it is you know anyway so um <clears throat> Basically, basically, um, I took some notes, so I'm just checking from, because people are upset that my videos are so long, so what to do about it. Um, so, yeah, that, that's another thing that, uh, like, I respect what Neil has been doing. I respect what Michael has been doing that monster factory arm wars you know I, I really respect and these people are not uh <clears throat> only social media guys these people breed arm wrestling you also cannot question their intention they are champion athletes they are great trainers they are great ambassador and they also always supported and they still support what I am doing. And as I said, what is happening today will not change much after this contracting. And we are already in coordination with these people, these, these two great person for the sport. And we will not do anything that would harm them. And they never, never try to harm my reputation. They never try to harm the reputation of East versus West. And I have no reason to do anything opposite way, you know, like something wrong. And and I would, this is the last thing I would want. I support Arm Wars. I support uh, Monster Factory, as I said. I work and I will continue working with this two great person and that, that's all that's all I wanted to say don't worry about it don't worry about it arm wrestling is on safe path don't believe the delusional slanderings of the people don't believe that I mean that, that those, those people will never change from the beginning they were same they will always continue the same way just just support us and enjoy our messing. We will never fail you. We will never fail you. We will never fail your trust.